Nor when the news the Muslim rights concern, Murik has called for dialogue over tribal clashes in Oyo State and appealed to the federal government to apply caution in handling the fragile situation. The group's director, Professor Ishak Akintola, made the appeal in a statement issued in Lagos on Sunday. Professor Akintola advised the federal government to consult widely with elders from all the states of the federation concerning the issue with a view to finding a comprehensive solution. Joining us live this evening is a spokesman, Afeni Fere, Inka Odumaki. Thank you so much for joining us. My pleasure. All right, we, we've seen and, of course, read Afeni Fere's position on the seeming ethnic clash, which many people have described as not surprising. However, the worry is, shouldn't the group be calling for an amicable solution? Well, that's why we... I've welcomed the meeting the Southwest governors are holding in Afure tomorrow. Because you know that we've always been very strong on calling for dialogue. That's why we have been calling for the situation of Nigeria. Because we believe that it's better to, to, uh, to judge George and the World War. And uh, we believe that there is nothing that cannot be resolved through dialogue. Unfortunately, we have reached a point where we can no longer hear ourselves in Nigeria because of ethnic prejudices. For instance, when the government of Gondo State says that health men should vacate the forest reserves in Gondo State, forest reserves are not the places where human beings should go and occupy now, in animals that go and live in the forest. But the federal government just came out and said, oh, the government said in the forest. They should live on those things. That's not what he said. And dialogue will be meaningless. Where we are not listening to ourselves, where we are not hearing the other person's perspective, where all we are thinking about is our own position and what we want, and not to think of what others want and what is their interest. All right. That is the problem of Nigeria. Okay, let's move to talking about uh, Sunday Adeyemo. He is, of course, uh, alleged as a perpetrator of the violence or the one who started all the violence. He says that he has the backing of the traditional leaders. Do you think that this can be translated as aid in ab and abetting violence by the traditional rulers in the state? <coughs> well, uh, Sunday, Buhu, we have also engaged in to speak with him as part of our peace building efforts to allow state actors to deal with this matter and set the background for now. Because the reason why we have states, the essence of the states is to be advertised to see containing forces in society. When individuals need to take uh, their own individual actions, they may go beyond measure. And, that is, and we don't want such things. Though we are annoyed, we understand why we are angry with what Fulani has made an increase in our region. In Oyo, in Undo, everywhere, killing our people. Look at the, 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 the guy, the previous guy, the killer of the state. It's, uh, it's, it's terrible. We are, not, we, can, we are not happy with it. We cannot nurture our people to maturity. And some people will come and, talk, and be killing them just like animals and value their cows more than our human beings. But in spite of all that, we are still ensuring that law and order will not start to break down. And that's why we have been warning, warning even the uh, Arab Policy Forum who are invoking the images, images of war of 1966, because they think that they can use that to cow us and browbeat us. We are beyond that. That what peace does not mean that we are not capable of defending our land. We will defend our land if it's necessary, but that will not be our first line of action. We will promote peace, we promote talks, we promote dialogue, because we are decent human beings. And that's what this is one being It is animals who, who fight first before dialogue. 
Okay. Um, um, no, a great way that you've, uh, of course, brought up the perspective of being able to defend your land. But I, I, I want to also ask you, what would you say is the way forward? But there's many angles to, you know, the incidents that have occurred in the last few weeks. Um, the Ondo State yeah. Governor has called for headers to vacate the forest. And, of course, that expires tomorrow. Um, what would you say is the way forward from tomorrow? From tomorrow, I think the, there's, there's, been a, there's been a lot of order by the state government, governor. The forest reserves are under the governor. Every land in the state are in the, are in the custodian of the governors. The order by the governor must not be said with left, must be complied with. If the headsman wants land in the state for grazing reserves, they should go and apply it to the governor. And the governor can, have, can award land for them. Where they can do it according to the laws of the state, not by their own laws, or by another headers forum, or by Gadwa Show, or violating the authority of the state governors. That was not happening. Um, lastly, so, oh, go ahead, yeah. please go ahead. Go ahead. So, the first thing to start is that the, gov the order of the governor must be complied with. The military are not above the law. And the federal government cannot put them above the lawful authority in the state. Okay, I, I also want to ask you lastly about um, Sunday Adem or um, Sunday Boho, like you've uh, mentioned, um, and his position. Yeah. Um, would you blame him? Would you think that he maybe has gone too far with, you know, the steps that he has taken in supposedly to defend his people and the people of Ondo State? And do you think, or would you say that Afeni Ferriam, you know, is, you know, well, understands his position and is willing to go all the way with him? Well, no, for Sunday Bubu, uh we can understand why people like him uh, first so mild by the killings of our people. It's a so random. There's no authority in the land to call these killers orders. The federal government that should arbitrate and ensure that citizens live in peace is backing the headsmen and calling them like the kind of statement that was show was making for headsmen in the state. That is not helpful. But we have also spoken with the uh, that was uh, to say to that you cannot behave like them. When quite another northern, northern group asked people to leave the north, I find it very strong in asking them not to do that. They have no authority to do that. And while we were we will be pains of the Sunday Bubu, we have appealed also to him also that there are ways to handle we handle things. If you don't put last results first, and that uh, state is, is your last state actor to first deal with the matter before individuals begin to take their own actions. So these are measures we are taking behind, and we have made, made open statements on it. Even when statements may not be very popular, because people are so angry, that we also have a responsibility as a responsible leaders to maintain law and murder in our society. All right, Ian Kao Dumanke, um, pleasure speaking with you. And we would definitely have another conversation um, in the next few days. We will, of course, be watching to see how this uh, um, seven days deadline and, uh, of course, the meeting with uh, Mietiala goes. And we would we'll definitely want to talk to you again. Thank you very much for your time. Okay. Hello, hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.